That's tour level. That sounds like a tour pro. So, so tell me what you learned today. What stands out? A smooth transition in golf is everything. The roller coaster. I mean, that it's been amazing. Uh, my name is Mark Hafferkamp. I'm from Redlands, California. I saw Chris on the internet, the My Swing Evolution. I just felt like out of all the videos I've watched out there, he's the one that simplified it the most. And that's what we're all looking for is a simple golf swing. <laughs> So when I'm swinging well, I can take my pitching wedge, eight iron, five iron, and driver and put them all together and the tempo is the exact same. Nice. I like it. Good. All right, let's keep it up. Let's... Okay, go ahead and hit it. Nice. And there's no engine on a roller coaster. Yeah. It's just. <laughs> the thing, I'm sorry to cut yeah. you off, but the thing I think of in my mind is damn roller coasters, they get going real fast, but it takes time. Yeah. Yeah. And so I came here, met with Chris. He asked me, what, what was it that I wanted to change with my game? And I've been an 80s golfer, been golfing since I was 16. I'm 42 now. And I just said, I, I really need help. I'm, I'm stuck. I just stuck in the 80s. I've broken 80 a few times, but I really wanted to be more consistent. And when I came out here, just a couple little tweaks that Chris made, the roller coaster concept, in my swing where you know when you're on a roller coaster you realize it's going up the hill slow but when it gets over the top of the hill it's also going slow at the start until it reaches maximum momentum at the bottom and thinking about that in my golf swing helped my transition quite a bit and that's the one thing he pointed out to me was that the transition was the most important part of my golf swing that's so nice I'm, I'm here, man. I want to see you get really good at this game. Wow. That's so nice. If you can master a smooth transition, 80% of the other stuff takes care of itself. So what did I tweak? I moved the ball an inch or two forward. Like just, you, you've got a good golf swing. You've got, uh, you've got a Porsche, and there was no need to pop the hood and start yanking stuff out. You've already got a good golf swing. We just need to smooth the transition, make sure that the pedals are in the right place. You know, get the ball a little forward, and just let's just keep doing it. He didn't make any tweaks, technical tweaks or anything like that. Didn't want to mess with my head, which I really appreciate because I can't stand all these positions in golf. I feel like it's a, just overplayed and confuses everybody. So out here was just that transition and just after a couple of quick tips from Chris and that roller coaster and watching him hit a few, it really made my transition a lot smoother and that's what I'm gonna continue to focus on and I really feel like that's gonna help my game quite a bit. I couldn't be more impressed with Chris and meeting him in person was just the icing on the cake. Funny. Look how far that goes. And you're you're not even trying to crush it. This is the greatest game. This is the greatest game. <laughs> Smash another one. That's tour level. That sounds like a tour pro. That's money.
that's money. <laughs> that's elite golf right there. So, so tell me what you learned today. What stands out? A smooth transition in golf is everything. The roller coaster. I mean, that it's been amazing. Guys, I've created the biggest controversy in modern golf by insisting swinging over the top is the best way to swing a golf club. Bobby Jones, Sam Snead, and Arnold Palmer all swung over the top. So I want to send you three free lesson videos that will teach you the over-the-top miracle swing that I teach my students. I shot a 72 with Balboa. It feels like you can't miss. 